Okay, I've just got about 7.01 there. So I'm just going to stop the getting ready for the meeting. Um, uh, first, I would like to acknowledge that here in Toronto, Canada, we're on the ancestral and traditional territories of the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Haudenosaunee, the Anishinaabe, and the Huron-Wendat, who are the original owners and custodians on the land on which we live, work, and create. And I want to uh, welcome you all. I'm your host. I'm Andrew McAllister. I'm the Director of Academic Computing and Innovation at OCAD University. And uh, I'm also an Adobe Education Leader, a sometime visual artist, although I get a bit less time to do uh, that these days with being quite busy at OCAD. And I uh, make rock noise from time to time. I'm here with my esteemed colleagues, um, Sam and Danielle from the Admissions Office, who are going to be responding to questions in the Q&A in the chat. Uh, this session is meant to help you inform technology decisions about this fall and give you a bit of a preview as to how things work and how we support your creativity with technology at OCAD University. I always like this opportunity to connect with students before the start of the school year. Um, and uh, this is a year <laughs> unlike any other. And uh, I'm sure you're feeling the same way. And I'm, uh, I want to thank all of you for uh, turning up tonight. Um, so without further ado, of course, you might have seen the video on YouTube talking about the laptop program, but again, we're talking about technology tonight, and that's what our primary focus is. So just to give you an idea, those of you who might know the history of OCAD, um, this is an archival picture of OCAD U in the 1980s. Uh, if anyone wants to uh, shout out or uh, put in the chat what uh, computer they think is in the background, um, uh, you, can, you can drop that into the chat. But what I wanted to point out in this image is that these two students uh, are smiling and having a good time. And it's like a social activity. They're learning together as they use that technology. Um, uh, I want to, oh, right. And I, I forgot to address one more thing. Uh, so those of you who are just joining, uh, this session is being recorded and we are answering questions in the chat and the Q&A. And I will do my best to pause occasionally and try to address those questions. Um, Atari, Commodore 64, I've got some, I've got some um, hint, there's a logo embedded in that picture somewhere, if you can find it, if the quality is good enough uh, on your, on your screen. Um, I'm seeing some questions in the chat, and I will pause uh, later on in the presentation to just cover those ones. Uh, it's actually an Apple II. Uh, I don't know why they have two screens, but who knows? Anyway, there we go. Um, but this is kind of what OCAD U looks like today, or at least what it looked like in uh, 2019. Uh, so students uh, coming to school with their laptops, working together, collaborating on projects. And this is the uh, sixth floor uh, design open studio uh, where graphic design, illustration, advertising students generally hang out. We also have um, some you know, traditional desktop computing as well for specific applications like VR and gaming and so on like that. So we're, we're, uh, that's uh, something that has sort of changed a little bit in the last couple of years uh, with the changes in technology. So what is the, um, the laptop program? So essentially the idea is that you already own a laptop or you're gonna buy a recommended laptop uh, for coming to OCAD University. We license all the software that you're gonna need for your program. So we kind of do, it's almost like a Groupon. We go out and, and get the lowest possible uh, price for all the software that you're gonna need for your programs to be creative. And then we also provide quite a bit of support for your computer. Um, uh, specifically, we're an Apple authorized uh, service provider. So if you do choose to buy an Apple machine, we can do repairs on that machine. But for all students, we provide computers while your computer is broken and so on. And uh, part of the reason why we recommend specific computers is that we try to have relationships with these various different companies so that we can give them feedback and suggest um, uh, you know, the best configurations. And then also like sometimes if a student runs into trouble, we, um, we can act, act as an advocate on your behalf. And then you pay fees for software and support and those fees, um, they're embedded in your fees account. And what's great is that they're tax deductible. So it's great. Um, so what do we provide? So uh, largely uh, all students coming to OCAD, you who are in the program, uh, get access to Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, we're a huge Microsoft 365 shop. You also get a Windows uh, education license. Um, so you'll have a uh, email uh, is based on Office 365. So you'll be using Outlook and you'll get all the apps as well as we use, we primarily use Microsoft Teams for synchronous um, and chat. So, uh, and then you'll have also unlimited access to LinkedIn Learning, which is a tremendous learning resource of uh, sort of courses done by professionals and they can also lead to um, course completion certificates and you can post those on your LinkedIn profile and it, the idea is that it, uh, it can help pave your way uh, into the working world. Uh, it's, it also contains some great tutorials on creative practice and, and so on and so forth. 
Um, so this is usually the most uh, frequent question. Some of I may some of you might have seen the YouTube videos that I've posted online, but can you use your existing laptop? Absolutely. We want you to use whatever technology you have and wear it out. Uh, if it's three years old or less and it's got an Intel Core i7 processor, you know, if if it will run these applications, definitely use it for the start of the school year. Um, even more so this year because because of the ongoing supply chain issues to do with the pandemic, uh, technology is uh, sometimes you can't get the computer you really want. Also, some of those computers uh, may be more expensive than you expect, have very long delays. Um, so, and this is not just in part due to the pandemic, but there have been several fires at uh, Japanese semiconductor plants. Uh, there's a drought in Taiwan, which is affecting um, uh, Apple fabricates a lot of its chip uh, with Taiwan uh, Semiconductor and uh, drought is leading to uh, uh, constraints of uh, product. So some of this stuff is, is happening a bit slower than it normally would. So it always pays to wait. So if you're, if you're concerned about, you know, do I need to tear out and buy a computer right now? No, you don't. If you don't have to, don't. You will have plenty of other concerns coming to school uh, at Oked University where you'll have other books and materials and supplies. And I'm sure also to day-to-day um, -day concerns like you know um, housing and, and other uh, things. So uh, you know, this is a way of me saying, don't panic. You, know, it's, uh, you can take your time with this decision. Um, what about iPads? People have asked about this before. It, there's no curricular requirement really uh, for iPads, uh, whereas you know, with laptops, we really do expect students to have a laptop that they can use to, to be creative. Um, they're not wildly popular yet in all programs, and they really, I think, work very well for the drawing and painting, uh, expanded animation students and illustration students. Um, I think there's an industrial design students who, who draw, or if you like to draw digitally, uh, that's probably a thing you enjoy. The thing is that, and, and you will have access to Adobe uh, Photoshop and Adobe Fresco for iPad as well too. But having said that, it's an additional cost and it's not something you absolutely need. And there's a lot of stuff you can't do on an iPad these days. So uh, this is just kind of a, a caveat. So what do we recommend? So generally speaking, um, we recommend um, Apple equipment, uh, Dell and Microsoft. That's not to mean to say there's not lots of other great computers out there. Uh, we've gone through several different vendors at OCAD, but we've kind of stuck with these folks for a couple of different years uh, because we survey the students and they generally like this equipment. And um, I'm going to go through program by program and explain some of the options. Um, I'm just going to pause now because I've been talking a lot and I'm just going to look at the chat and the Q&A and just make sure I'm on course. Work. Where can I find the recording later? Because I can't hear anything for some reason. Um, we, what we can do is we'll follow up with the registration list and, and likely uh, contact you directly. Um, so using an existing laptop is recommended for first year. If you have an existing laptop and you're happy with it and it's working well, I would suggest that you seriously consider just continue using that computer um, just because you don't uh, want to incur additional uh, cost. And also too, you know, laptops, they have a three-year lifespan. Sometimes what happens is uh, that, that uh, if you wait, you know, buy a new laptop, maybe in second year, that laptop should last you, you know, it'll only be three years old by the time you get to fourth year when students have a lot of, you know, you're doing a major project or a thesis or something like that. So that's important to think about. Anyway, so let's dig into these, uh, these options a little bit. So if you're in the Faculty of Art and you're in photography, drawing and painting, printmaking publications, criticism and curatorial practice, or sculpture and installation, or cross-disciplinary art life studies, or in the faculty of design, if you're in graphics design, advertising, illustration, or in the faculty of arts and science, if you're in creative writing or indigenous visual culture, or visual and critical studies, or in graduate studies, if you're in design for health. These are the specific machines that we would probably recommend from those three vendors that would work best for you. So on the Apple side, we're recommending the 13-inch Apple MacBook Air or the Apple MacBook Pro, both, both based on Apple M1 silicon processors, so not the Intel-based ones, um, the Dell XPS 13, and the 13.5-inch Microsoft Surface Book 3. And uh, the, there are various different reasons. In, in all of these programs, um, you will be able to run all of the software that you require on on either of those machines. There's no specific requirement in either of those programs for software that let's say only runs on Windows. So definitely you can consider either a Windows or a Mac option. And um, 
it's an interesting year as well too because Apple has brought out this new processor, which is which is brand new. Um, so sometimes students ask things like, well, which which should I choose, Mac or PC? And generally, I suggest whichever one you're most comfortable with is probably the best answer, um, unless you're you're wanting to try something new. I'm just going to pause and just take a quick look at the questions. Um, so there was a good question. Uh, I don't have a laptop that meets the specs mentioned before and considering what you mentioned about supply issues, is it, part, is it possible to rent one? I uh, rental, um, we loan laptops uh, to students who are in a situation where uh, they have, uh, where they're waiting for repairs. Um, we don't do really a rental program. Um, we do sometimes loan students uh, a computer for a couple of weeks if they're waiting for um, something to come in, um, you can always reach out to us directly, but generally speaking, it's not something that we do. Um, but why don't you, um, you can always email, um, I'm going to provide some uh, contact information. Uh, we're happy to talk to students directly about what machines they have, provide specs, and then advise them directly. And usually, actually, most of the time, students um, can do all right. And then also, um, do we provide, do we finance or provide discounts when buying a laptop? So what we do is we, we work with external vendors, and I'll go through this to provide online storefronts. And uh, those machines are at uh, education discount. In terms of financial support, I recommend that you contact financial aid and discuss with them your specific situation and what options they have to provide to you. That's probably the best recommendation I can, I can give. Okay, so we've kind of covered the general um, number of design programs in art and so on. Um, now let's move to a couple more programs. So these are programs which might have some higher requirements. So again, integrated media, digital painting and expanded animation, um, and in the Faculty of Design, specifically material art and design. And then in the Faculty of Arts and Science, digital futures. Whoop, that went by really fast. Let's do that one more time. Oh, oh, I went back too many slides. Slide fail. Here we go. Let's do it again. Nope, not that one. Okay, we're back here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, so uh, if you're in the Digital Futures program, that's undergraduate or graduate, uh, or the interdisciplinary masters in art, media, and design. Um, or if you're just someone who like knows that you require more performance. Here's what we recommend. So for the Apple options, oh, and actually I'll pause. There was somebody in the chat who asked about SFI. Um, there's no mandatory requirement in SFI for laptops, but um, I might uh, bundle you into either one of these categories uh, depending on your needs. Um, so if you're looking for Apple equipment that's more powerful than the Apple M1 based MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, you might wanna wait if you can wait because Apple has been rumored to bring out a 14 inch and 16 inch replace or a new 14 inch MacBook Pro and a replacement for the 16 inch Intel based MacBook Pro. There are rumors that there are new machines coming out anytime between September and November. We don't know specifically when, I don't have any insider information and Apple is notoriously tight-lipped about this detail. And we just have to go on what uh, shows up on uh, the various different rumor sites and YouTubers. But we do know that there have been specs and, and schematics leaked, and there's going to be something new coming, and it will be more powerful. Are the existing M1-based 13-inch MacBook Air and MacBook Pro computers extremely powerful? Yes, absolutely. They're spectacular. They're great. But if you're someone who wants a larger screen, and you know that you're just going to want something that has more performance and more ports, um, and you can afford to wait, then just hang on. If you're not in that category, definitely take a look at the uh, existing Apple machines because they, they perform very well. In terms of the Windows options, uh, and I will mention about the Digital Futures program, uh, we're offering uh, Dell Precision or Alienware machines. A lot of the students have gravitated towards the uh, Alienware gaming computers because they have extremely competent graphics processors in, their, in them. So if you're planning on any doing any 3D or VR or gaming, uh, they're spectacular. Um, they, are, they are big and uh, powerful and intimidating <laughs> like this picture, uh, but they're wonderful as well too. So if that sort of strikes you as something that you're interested in, 
uh, I would definitely uh, take a look at those options and I'll let you know where you can look for those. The Precision is a slightly different model, um, which is more geared towards uh, CAD CAM. So more if you're in industrial design or material art and design, however, both machines would suit you. The, the major difference is the graphics card that's in the Precision machines. We've seen more students gravitate towards the Alienware computers and, and being quite happy with them. So that would probably be the direction which I would drive you. Uh, um, and the other option is the 15 inch um, Microsoft Surface Book 3. Uh, what is significantly different about, different about that machine is that of course uh, the Surface you can draw on it. So if you're looking for a perfect hybrid, you're a Windows user and you wanna be able to draw on the screen, you can totally draw on the screen on the Surface Book. And of course, as you know, you can detach the screen and lay it down on your lap and draw on it. And it's quite nice. Um, yes, very nice machine. Uh, next, if you're, oh, that went by too fast. I'm sorry. If you're in the faculty of design and you're an industrial design or environmental design, <laughs> Here's what I recommend. Um, you should really gravitate towards Windows options. And the reason is in industrial design, there's a couple of reasons. For one, um, industrial design still uses a piece of software called SolidWorks. SolidWorks is a piece of 3D CAD CAM software, which is it's a, it's a 3D application which is really built around the idea for modeling things that you would actually manufacture or build. Things that you would actually uh, export to a rapid prototyper. And let's say you have gears that intermesh and things like that. It's quite good for that. And it's quite popular in North America. Uh, it only runs on Windows. And there is uh, currently one course that uses it extensively. And then there are a number of students outside industrial design who, who have learned the software and, uh, and use it. The other reason is that in industrial design, um, the program is transitioning from using Rhino 3D to um, Autodesk Fusion 360. And Fusion 360 is a application from, from Autodesk. It's, it, it's cross-platform, but it has not yet been fully optimized for Apple Silicon. Now there's lots of users out there who are using it saying they're having no problem at all. It runs fine. Um, but I guess we're sort of providing this caveat that it's not fully optimized for that yet. So just a bit of caution. There's also, um, yeah, so that's what I would say about that. In, in environmental design, um, the reason is similar in that if you're going into environmental design, you're gonna be using uh, AutoCAD and Revit. Uh, Revit is a, a building information management system for rendering 3D buildings. Uh, it's, it's used in the program. AutoCAD is also, there is an AutoCAD version for Mac. If you're like a Mac user and you're like, I'm gonna use a Mac. Um, there is an AutoCAD for Mac. It's not exactly the same as AutoCAD for Windows. And the feedback that we've had from students is, you just have to run AutoCAD in Windows. It's just, the whole in industry is oriented that way and you'll just have a better experience. Um, I'm just gonna pause and look over the questions. If I were doing game design, would the options still be the same? I would sell, I would say if you're doing game design, Dell Alienware, that's the way you gotta go. Those machines are totally awesome. And I don't think you'll be happy, uh, unhappy I should say. And uh, actually there was a recent article I posted from um, oh, one of the tech magazines, Wired. And they, were, they said, uh, of all the gaming laptops, the Alienware was the most stylish. <laughs> It's also highly performant. It does have an NVIDIA um, RTX 3070 graphics card in it. So it's no slouch. Uh, so it's quite good. Can we use a laptop with Intel i5 processors? Sure. If the software is supported on it and you have that existing machine, you want to wear it out, go for it. Um, that I would say that's fine. Is Would any powerful gaming laptop work for digital futures? 100%. And there's so many gaming laptops out there. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to choose one over the other. Um, we tend to choose, uh, the reason why we've gone Dell Alienware is that we're very happy with the level of support that we get from Dell. And like I said, when students run into trouble and they're not happy with the level of support, I have a, a real human being that I can contact at Dell and be like, <laughs> ring a ding ding, it's Andrew McAllister from OCAD. Um, I have a student that is having a problem with their laptop. What's going on with this? Like why, 
you know, and um, we've had less positive support experience with some other folks. Doesn't mean that they're bad machines. Uh, it just means that, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. Uh, so, so that's that's what I would say, um, uh, Jamila. Um, an Acer Nitro Five laptop, okay to use. I'm not familiar with the Acer Acer Nitro Five, so I can't comment on that. I'm sorry, it's unfortunate. And um, again, just going back to the uh, questions um, Aisha asked about SFI, I think you would be fine with any of the um, uh, the initial. It depends on the work that you're doing, but generally, I would say any of the um, uh, any of oh, not that slide, this one. Any of these options would be great for you in SFI. If you are planning to do 3D visualizations and, or if you game, or if you're gonna do VR, I would say maybe look at some of the more powerful options, but the Apple MacBook Pro and MacBook Air are pretty excellent choices for that program. Okay, how are we doing for time? 721. Um, if I'm in illustration, can I use the higher performance laptops? Absolutely, absolutely then you fall into the category of one of these people who's like, I just want more performance. I, I am going to do all kinds of wild things. Like in illustration, for example, if you're gonna be doing Adobe After Effects, um, the other thing I, I would say, you know, these options would be the options for you. On top of that, actually, um, something that I didn't include in my presentation is that Adobe um, is going to be including the 3D, uh, there's a new, there's a company they acquired called Substance 3D. And it's a piece of software for um, digital painting surfaces on objects. It's amazing. Um, and however, generally speaking, that is generally only available on Windows. So again, the 3D world is really very much biased towards um, the Windows platform, although there are Mac options coming. Um, what laptops is recommended for students doing drawing and painting? So again, um, I s mentioned that the you could go with one of the more entry level options. It depends on what how much digital work you expect to be doing. Um, but again, if you require more power, you know, we we take a kind of like good and better uh, approach to this whole thing. Um, again, environmental design, I'll take this one more time. Environmental design, really, again, you want to look at these Windows machines. Whoops, let's go back. In environmental design, you want to look at the Windows machines on the right-hand side here because you need to run AutoCAD. Just going to pause one more thing. What about desktops? So some students take a strategy, and this has worked over the past year with the pandemic, and it might work to some extent this year, sort of. I'll explain why. Because we've all been at home, some people last year, the advice was you just need a computer uh, because it's all gonna be remote learning. This year we're transitioning out of remote learning and there were, there's a gradual return to campus. And when you're on campus, you will need some kind of laptop. So what some students have done, um, Richard, is that uh, you know, they'll have some like killer desktop at home and then they'll have like just kind of a utility laptop at school to like show their work to um, to their instructors. But of course, then you're kind of hampered by how much work you can actually do on that machine. And if you're someone who's commuting long distances, you really want a very capable computer so that, uh, and if you have gaps between classes and so on, like in the long run, you kind of want, you if you're gonna throw all your eggs in one basket, you probably want to throw them in the laptop basket. But again, it depends on what your vision is for your um, the work that you're going to do. Again, expanded animation, um, uh, just to reiterate, I would say uh, any of these three options, um, and I would include Apple in expanded animation, that that, that would be an option. And I would probably want to wait um, if you can, OK? I'm just going to pause. I'm going into graphic design, but I tend to do a lot of VR work and 3D animation on the side. I would say probably you want to go Dell Alienware. Um, again, it has the better graphics card in it. You might be more satisfied in the future. It depends on which 3D apps you're using and whether they're optimized or they're planning on being optimized for Apple Silicon. Uh, I'm, you know, Maya does run on Mac OS and there are students who run Maya on Mac OS and it runs well and it was demoed in an Apple event, um, but it depends on the ecosystem that you're working within. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about how you go about buying these things and like kind of check them out a bit. 
So what we do is we have kind of a, an Apple storefront uh, where you can kind of go and we have the recommended options. It's essentially the same educational discount that you would get sort of normally going through the education store, except we just have it laid out nicely for you. Um, and I'll show you that. Uh, or you can go to the Apple Store Eaton Center in person and show your educational uh, credentials, uh, like a student card or, or something that says that you're an OCAD student on it, and they will give you the education discount. Given the fact that we're still in a pandemic, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that option unless you do have a number of questions for those folks, because um, I do believe that they're open um, with social distancing and so on. For the Dell hardware, you, we do have a premier page um, designed directly for you with some specific configurations. Does that mean you can purchase off the general Dell site? Absolutely. Um, you may find the price varies uh, page to page and um, you'll just have to see what fits best for you and I'll show you some options. And likewise with Microsoft, um, we've been um, Microsoft is the one outlier. We've been working with them to try and get a special OCAD page put up uh, and we haven't got that done yet. Um, however, uh, I will show you their general education store and how you navigate through that. And uh, it is, I love Microsoft. Um, it is maybe one of the slightly more challenging storefronts to navigate through. And so maybe um, uh, I will answer, I'll just pause for questions. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through these storefronts and then I'll, I'll swing back to questions. Okay. so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to share a web browser just so that you can see what I'm talking about here. Oh, shared my whole desktop. Oh, okay. So this is the Apple storefront. Basically, it has best all programs: 13-inch MacBook Pro Space Gray or the 13-inch MacBook Pro Space Gray. You'll notice that it does come with the AirPods, the the hot deal. Um. I expect the hot deal is going to end in September, and then sometime after that, they're going to release new machines. You'll notice in this list um, for all the Apple hardware, we are not recommending the 16-inch MacBook Pro. And I think the reason why is because we just felt like that computer, we know that it's going to be replaced very, very soon. And in many benchmarks, these 13-inch Apple M1 uh, laptops outperform the 16 inch MacBook Pro. The 16 inch MacBook Pro costs something like between, starts at like $28.99 and $32.99. These machines are significantly less expensive and perform better in almost all scenarios with it, some exceptions. Uh, there's some things they don't have, which like a 16 inch screen and so on, but like we just felt like it was not a good idea to recommend those machines. And we're, that's why we're informing students to just hang on if you want something, if, the, if these options don't appeal to you, if you can hang on, just hang on for, for when Apple releases new hardware. Um, the Dell storefront, and actually I'm going to, why don't I actually, we can, we can do this together. Um, I'm just gonna pop these links in the chat. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just looking for my BB edit, just looking for my text editor. So I'm just popping this in the chat. So these are three web store links. The first two are OKEDU specific. Um, and the last one is just the general Microsoft store. And this is kind of um, what I'm showing now. So what happens is you get this sort of page of text, which is a lot of words. Really what you want to do is just click on shop your standard configuration and then you'll get, oh, what? No. This thing shouldn't require authentication. Build on CA slash okay. Go. Okay, there we go. Um, so down here, you'll see that there's two Alienware models and I'll actually just drill down on one, the one that has the less scary price. Um, so I will click on this one. So this one has a one terabyte PCIe M2 SSD, has the 30, uh, GeForce RTX 3070 graphics card. It's running 10th gen Intel Core i7, eight core, um, running at up to five gigahertz max turbo frequency, 32 gigs of RAM. So you might have looked at this and thought, Whoa, for a PC, that is, not, uh, that is not the low, low price. Um, it is a premium product and it's really quite good. 
um, for what it offers. There are also some other options here. I said the Dell Precision. Um, this is a machine that you might want to consider if you if you are going to do, let's say, a lot of solid works in industrial design. Uh, otherwise, I would look at the Alienware machines. Oh, we've got several configurations. Oh, there's some less expensive ones. Oh, how about that? Hey. This one has a bit less memory. And still same graphics card, that's cool. Uh, this one only has a full HD display. So that's why I think it's a bit cheaper. Uh, and then we have a giant one, 17 inch laptop. Whoa. And then there's also some displays in here. Actually, this is a good note for any um, student who's thinking of buying an Apple um, laptop and you're like, I need another display. Dell displays are excellent. And especially too, um, some of these are USB-C. So this one, and this one, you can plug directly into a MacBook Pro and that's all the cables you require and then actually charge your MacBook Pro at the same time. Pretty nice. And these are very nice displays. They are not your $200 run of the mill display. They're usually 100% um, RGB, sRGB gamut or more. Um, and uh, yeah, awesome. Okay. And the Microsoft Store, is sort of more general. I would click on here, service deals. Um, what's the reason why I said this is a little bit more confusing. You want to ignore all of these options and click Surface Book 3. And when you go to configure that machine, um, it's going to give you a gajillion different options. I don't, I don't love the UI on this thing. Uh, so first of all, you have to pick 13 inch or 15. Okay, one or the other. And then you're given a number of different options. Uh, which then disappear, which is not ideal. Um, you'll notice that depending on which option you pick, it has a different graphics card. So this one has only the Intel Iris. I think if you pick this one, it has the NVIDIA GeForce card. That is also a significantly more expensive computer. So does that, okay. So actually this one has the NVIDIA GeForce card. So just take some time to go through and, uh, hunt down those um, options. I'm going to return back to my previous share. Whoop. OK. I'm now going to pause, and I'm going to look at the chat and the Q&A. Is there a student discount when purchasing Mac computers? Yes. If you click on that first link that I post in the chat, that is an education discount available to you as a student. Um, and, uh, and you can get that discount either online or through the store. Is it mandatory for first years to have a MacBook for the first year? Or can we manage with a basic laptop? Yes, absolutely. Any laptop, the laptop you have, and I'll go back to that slide in the deck. Can I use my existing laptop? 100% yes, if it runs the software. Um, and if, you're, if you are concerned about that machine running the software, get in touch with us and I'll provide some contact details at the end of this presentation. Just gonna pop over to the Q&A. Would interior design need to get a new laptop first year? Again, same kind of uh, um, similar answer. Like if the machine that you own run will run the software or meet these specifications, uh, you know, and when in doubt, I always recommend students start your year, see how you get along. And then if you're not happy with uh, the level of performance you're getting or you're running into some issues, then buy a new computer, okay? Um, if I get an Apple MacBook Pro, do I need to buy Office programs, e.g. Word? Absolutely not. You do not. That is something that we do. So we will pr be providing Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, all the desktop applications, and also you're going to have an Office 365 email box. You'll have access to Microsoft Teams, which allows you to chat with any other student or start video calls, and uh, your classes will be held synchronously that way. Um, yeah, it's very, it's, it's, it's a really handy platform from the perspective that it will integrate with um, all the different apps and the whole Microsoft ecosystem. And it's also uh, somewhat integrated with Canvas, the learning management system. Um, okay, so I'm actually gonna move on a little bit because there were a few other things other than laptops I wanted to mention. So we do have this remote learning at OCAD U course that we're running. We ran it last year and we asked students whether um, we should run it again. And they said, yes. Uh, so um, if you go to that bit.ly URL and bit.link, and I will just put it in the chat just in a moment, uh, bit.ly slash OCAD U. Um, I'm now going to put that in the chat. 
So if you go to that URL, you can join this Canvas course, which is kind of like a hub for information about um, how remote learning works, um, the way that we support you through remote learning, stuff about the laptop program. It provides us a way to communicate with you and for you to ask questions. Uh, so I really recommend that you join that course because uh, it um, it's quite handy. It's quite good. Student, other students liked it. You might like it too. Um, so yeah, totally check that out. Uh, the second thing is that we run a really good support site, which actually changed recently, significantly, uh, because now it's it's hidden behind authentication. It used to be totally public. Um, so I'm going to just drop that in the chat as well, too. If you go to the site, it's a way for you to uh, have a conversation with IT about your, your issues. You can open what's called a ticket to say, oh, I'm having a problem. But it also has lots of documentation up there. And there's information about the laptop program, but also all the software um, that we offer to students. So I hope that that's reasonably clear. I can always walk through that a little bit. Um, Let me just see if there are any questions about that. Going back to the questions. Um, so I'm just going to scroll back up to the questions, um, which I did not answer. I think I did not answer Aaron Alexander's. Let's start from the top. Um, if I'm an industrial design, would a Lenovo laptop work just as well as Microsoft Surface Book? I don't know specifically which Lenovo laptop you have, but if you're going to industrial design, that is a Windows computer, and I would say go for it. Do not replace that computer, give it a go, see how it works, and then when you're ready, um, replace that computer. And when I say when you're ready, I mean you can probably go through first year and just see kind of how it performs. If you do find you're having trouble, then that's when you can make that decision. Um, Najma. I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, and please correct me. Um, the total sum of what you would have to spend on a laptop really depends on, on what's required for your program. As you can see, the MacBook Pros and MacBook Airs, um, they start off uh, the lowest, the cheapest one, uh, which is the MacBook Air. Um, you know, it starts at 1169. You know, if that was, um, if, if cost is a concern, that would be the lowest price. And I think actually the Dell XPS, I'm just gonna take a look at that option as well too. Uh, the 13-inch XPS, I think, starts at around that price as well, too. Uh, the Surface Book 3 is a little bit more. Uh, I'm currently in environmental design program, which I've already received a 13-inch Macro Pro. Should I change devices, or should I still work with a MacBook? Ooh. Um, OK, so you might, well, you could do a couple of different things. If, if it's a computer that you already have, um, you could probably get by for now using AutoCAD for Mac. Um, they also use SketchUp and Rhino in um, environmental design, and both of those are cross-platform. Um, it's Revit that you'll run into trouble with. So in the long run, um, you will need to run Revit uh, under Windows. And also, some of your instructors may be challenged to support you on AutoCAD for Mac because the, the GUI is a little bit different, and some of the commands are different. Um, I have had instructors say that they've supported students on both platforms, but again, um, yeah, I don't know. If you, when you say if you change devices, I'm guessing that perhaps you're still within the return window. Um, if that's the case, I would probably, if you can return that computer with no penalty, I would seriously consider returning it. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, but however, if you're still concerned about us, reach out to us and I'll provide the contact information. Ah, oh, why don't I provide the contact information now? IT help at okedu.ca. I'm putting it in the chat right now. Here we go. There you go. Send us your emails, send us your questions, your queries, your, your, your concerns. Uh, we want to respond to you. We're here to help you be creative with technology. So, so please do so. Um, Drawing and painting program is a Lenovo laptop. Yes, you would. Yeah, that's. I don't know specifically what one you have, but you're not restricted onto one platform or the other. Again, use your existing computer and see how it goes. It'll run Creative Cloud and the Office products, and you should be good to go. Uh, would a 13-inch Apple MacBook Air work if I'm going into advertising? Absolutely. Um, the Apple MacBook Air is an extraordinarily powerful. It used to be sort of considered a slightly underpowered. Um, Apple computer, but honestly, the difference in performance 
between the Apple MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro these days is almost negligible with the change to Apple Silicon processors though. So if it's one of the new Apple MacBook Airs, it's an extraordinarily powerful computer. In drawing and painting programs, we're also required to purchase drawing tablets. For example, Wacom, Quion, I don't know that one, drawing tablets. Okay, so actually um, let's, that's a good segue because my next slide is you're not required to buy those tablets, although you might benefit from them. We do have some for loan, but um, on in on campus, uh, somebody was asking about this earlier, we are buying new desktops on campus. And for students who have curricular access to those classes, we are buying Cintiq displays. Although you're probably gonna want something all the time at home. So you're not required to buy anything, but having just a basic into us medium sized tablet would probably be tremendously useful for you. Um, the Intuos tablet is not um, relentlessly expensive. And I think the medium sized ones, based on the feedback I had from faculty, were kind of the smallest size you would probably want to seriously consider. Um, but again, it's not a requirement. Okay. Um, would the student discount also apply to students who purchase from Best Buy, Dell, or Microsoft? Um, oh, well, let me back up. Sorry, I missed um, Victory. What apps do I need for drawing and painting? So many students are, as I mentioned, uh, using Photoshop or Adobe Fresco on if they have an iPad or any of the Adobe apps. Um, so most of it will be included in, in Creative Cloud, okay? Um, a few more questions. Would a student discount also apply to students who purchase from Best Buy, Dell, or Microsoft? Um, we do have some students who show up at Best Buy and are disappointed by the fact that they missed out on the student discount, so no. Best Buy does not provide student discounts. They're just providing whatever hot deal is on at the time. And I would just forewarn you that if you purchase through Best Buy, it, you, you basically have to do some shopping and decide for you whether that's a better decision versus uh, the links that I've provided in the chat and whether um, that provides a better value for you. Um, uh, I understand that many university students should take notes with a laptop or some form of technology. Would you recommend that or writing just fine, specifically in class and in visual and critical studies program? Whew. Well, um, <laughs> the short answer is whatever works best for you. I mean, there are some studies out there to suggest that um, some people do have better retention uh, taking handwritten notes. On the other hand, it makes those notes much, much less transportable. Um, and it varies on the person really, because you might have um, concerns where uh, you, like, like when you, like for example, you might not type very fast. <laughs> and, you know, uh, and also you might want not, you, you might feel uncomfortable about like typing very fast on a, on a laptop while you're trying to um, engage in a lecture, or you might find it very distracting. You know, computers can be very distracting with notifications and things It takes you out of the moment. Um, the one thing I will say is that many faculty now with remote learning are um, doing lecture capture. So they're, uh, they're recording videos, they're transcribing them, they're providing uh, their presentations within the learning management system. So they're providing lots of aids for you as a student to help you be successful. And some of these can be used for to help you review the content. Um, so it sort of alleviates some of the responsibility for you to you know, frantically jot down every single thing that's happening. I, so I hope that answers your question. For Alienware's the student discount, yes. So as I mentioned, um, actually I'll flip back, there's the Dell um, store that I showed and I'll just go back to that. Doop -a -doop -doop. So um, uh, in the chat, dell.ca slash OCAD, um, there's some discounts and offers here of, of machines. There's multiple configurations. Uh, I would definitely price shop these configurations against what's on Dell.ca. Um, we have no, like these are supposed to be fantastic discounts. There have sometimes been on the rare occasion when we've seen Dell do some, like some super duper promotion and um, they offer something slightly different that may appeal as a better value for you depending on what the configuration is because you know with PCs there's a million different things you can um, change in terms of RAM and display size and all that kind of good stuff. So start here and then go from there. Um, another question about DPXA. So again, I mentioned earlier in uh, the presentation that 
uh, DPXA sort of falls into the category of uh, It's, that's the wrong window. There we go. Um, you'll want to look at uh, these Dell the Alienware machines or the Surface Book or whatever new Apple hardware comes in. And Shimika is asking about graphic design. Should you consider getting extra storage? If you ever, if you can afford it, always get extra storage. Students run out of space like crazy. Um, however, you have to compare pricing to see how the price inflates with the storage options. Um, for example, some of the Apple options, it's, it's not heinously expensive to go one step up, but if you go beyond that, it gets very costly. And just going to see, wow, lots of questions. Um, where do we get our Creative Cloud login? So once you register, Pretty much shortly after you register, your Creative Cloud login will be provisioned for you. And we will likely send out an email saying like your Creative Cloud um, account is live and it will be tied to your student email. Um, you, Claudia, you are right. You aren't able to find the Dell XPS 13 on the OCAD site. And um, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I just noticed that as well, too, that it's not there. So we'll have to follow up and find out why it's missing, because we did ask for it to be added. Um, can you, I missed the recommendation for material art and design course. Can you please go over that again? Thank you. So if you're in material art and design, you're in an interesting situation. So um, you can actually choose, you can actually go Apple um, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. So material art and design primarily uses Rhino 3D uh, if you're going, if specifically if you're going into jewelry and you're going to be 3D modeling jewelry, uh, Rhino 3D does run on um, uh, Mac OS and it does run on the new Apple Silicon Macs. Uh, there was a very short space of time, well, I should say a few months there, or half a year, where Rhino did not run on the new Apple hardware, but now it does. Um, the current version that ships runs under what's called the Rosetta 2. Um, translation layer. So meaning it's it's running like a Intel app on the Apple um, uh, hardware. It hasn't been rewritten for Apple Silicon, uh, but it does work. And it does work reasonably well, is my understanding. So this is an option for you. There are a number of plugins, though, and other you know add-ons to Rhino, which are specific to Windows. And um, what you can do and I would ask yourself, you know, which platform you're more familiar with and which you're more comfortable with. Um, Apple is an option. Uh, for a long time, Rhino used to be Windows only. Um, but definitely, I know faculty want, it, want students to have some uh, choice, uh, given the fact that it does run on both platforms. Um, I'm just going to look over the questions. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm looking at the time at 748. I'm just going to run through the last few details here. Um, and I'm going to pop up the, uh, so just to summarize for everyone, so we provide all the software that you're going to need, uh, including Adobe Creative Cloud. We repair Apple laptops, so we're an Apple authorized service provider, um, so you can drop off your laptop for repair with us. Whoops. Um, uh, even if your app, your laptop is not an Apple laptop, you can you can come to us and get a loaner laptop while your laptop is being repaired by your vendor. You just show like, oh, look, I'm getting my laptop um, repaired. It's broken. We loan you a laptop so that you're not stuck. Uh, you can continue being creative. And also, oh, I already said that. Hey, look, there's Canal in the help desk. This is what our help desk looks like when it's normally open. Um, we won't be open to the public uh, until we've fully returned to campus. Um, but this is kind of the experience when things kind of return to normal, whenever that is. Um, and if you want to get in touch with us, this is the way that you get in touch. So now I will return to the questions now that you have this email address up in front of you. Okay. Alex, I have an environmental, I'm an environmental design. I have an iPad that will be, sorry, and I have an iPad. Will that be any use for that kind of course? Well, an iPad is, is a great tool for drawing. I seem to recall that there are some specific apps that do run on an iPad 
for architectural and uh, environmental design. A lot of the apps are really, though, a lot more geared towards Windows and environmental design. So I would probably say less useful than if you were in, let's say, illustration or drawing and painting. Uh, Lila, I hope I'm pronouncing your, your name correctly, Lila. Um, oh, oh, no, sorry, I just skipped somebody. For illustration, would a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite be okay for doing something like at homework? Oh, um, I'm not familiar with the Tab S6. Um, and I'm assuming that you're meaning drawing for drawing on the S6. Um, the other issue is that Adobe, I have to remind myself um, what the support for Fresco and, I, and Photoshop is on Android. Um, typically their support for mobile apps has lagged on Android behind iOS. And that has to do with the install base across uh, creative industries. Um, so I, I would say probably not great. Um, does the fixing service also include physical repairs? Um, so yeah, so we repair Apple machines. We are, we are Apple authorized. Like we do in warranty and out of warranty support. The benefit of doing out of warranty support through us is that we don't charge you service fees just to look at your computer. Um, any third party Apple place will charge you usually an inspection fee for touching your out of warranty machine and looking at it. We don't do that. Um, I missed somebody out there. Um, wow, the questions are coming. Do you have to pay for the online course? Absolutely not. It's free to enroll. Just join, just join the course. And then and you can say hi and ask questions and hopefully um, learn something uh, that we, or hopefully we've conveyed something that, that is useful to you. Um, this will be my first year of graphic design. And I wanna be able to do my best performance. High performance laptop would be ideal since I wanna explore. I also, also like to be able to draw digitally as well, which, ooh, oh boy. Um, so, so if you're, uh, comfortable with Windows, the Surface Book 3 would be a good option because you can draw on the screen and it's high performance. Um, or the other way that you could go is you could go MacBook Air and iPad Pro or iPad Air because then you would have a capable laptop and a very, very capable drawing device. Um, and those two things together, you might actually end up spending the same amount of money with either option, if that makes any sense, because the Surface Book is is a is a slightly more expensive product, and the if you went MacBook Air, it's considerably less expensive. They could also get a uh, Wacom tablet. They could absolutely get a Wacom tablet. Sam, thanks for jumping in there. I appreciate that. You're saving me. Um, I've lost my spot. I'm going into the first year of graphic design. I have a laptop and an iPad Pro, which I can turn into a laptop. Would that be okay for my program? Um, so the uh, we have found, um, and we've learned this from faculty more than students, is that the iPad Pro is a very, very capable device. It's great. But there's always like like one or if there's like a handful of things that you'll run into that you'll just discover that there just isn't an app for that. Or there's like something that you need to do which it just will not accomplish. And also too, if you happen to take courses in another program where you need to run some other software that you know doesn't run on an iPad, uh, you might be a bit stuck. So that's why we don't, we're not really, that's why it's not an iPad requirement, it's, it's laptop. I hope that answers your question. Would an HP laptop be strong enough to meet the requirements for the expanded animation program? I really have to know the model. Um, HP is a great brand, uh, love their hardware. Um, if we knew which one, have, send us an email at ithelp at okadu.ca with, with what model you have and one of our staff will respond to you. I have an MSI gaming laptop, woo, sick. Will that be sufficient? Yes, absolutely. I'm sure absolutely, you'll be, you'll be, You'll be fragging all the noobs online. Uh, yeah. My daughter now, I think poggers is the word. Anyway, gaming lingo. Um, in the advertising program with the MacBook Air be a good option? 100%, yes. I'm in environmental design, interior design with the MacBook. Whoa, whoa, my God, they're going so. <laughs> By the way, shout out to Sam and Danielle. For, for the great job that they're doing with the Q&A in the chat. Um, Poggers, yes. Um, 
I'm in the illustration program. What laptop would you recommend? I already have a Lenovo X1 Extreme. So, do, okay, yeah, no, rock the Lenovo uh, X1 Extreme, partially just because it has Extreme in the name, <laughs> uh, which sounds awesome. And Len we love Lenovo laptops secretly in IT. Um, we do like them quite a lot. Um, we have looked at them every year and thought, oh, we'd love to support a Lenovo laptop. Um, but sometimes they haven't had quite the right uh, collection of features or the machines were a bit too expensive or something, something, something. Um, but they're great. And uh, so continue using that laptop, please. Use it. We're into sustainability. Between the Surface Book 3 and the MacBook Air, which one would you recommend in terms of performance? That's a hard one to say. Um, depends on what for specifically. Uh, if you watch some of the YouTube videos, the truth of the matter is that the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Airs are outperforming many equivalent kind of 13 inch Intel based laptops in doing most tasks. They're, those machines are amazing. Um, but I would need to know exactly what you're trying to do and for what program, because I don't want to recommend an Apple MacBook Pro and let's say you're going into environmental or industrial design. Um, Zena, if I get the Surface Book, well, we still need to purchase a separate tablet like a Wacom. No, 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 no. You can draw right on the screen with a Surface Book 3. You can detach the screen. You can draw on the screen. You can take it off and turn it around. And it's it does the thing. It does it all. And that's why we're, we were quite compelled by it as a product. Is the MacBook Air good enough for graphic design or do I need a Dell? No, absolutely not. The MacBook Air, um, at least the current one, is the M1 base one, is a great computer. I think you'll really enjoy it. It has a tremendous battery life. Um, this is my first year of graphic design. Will I be able to do my best performance, high performance laptop? Blah, 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 blah. Um, so again, um, as I mentioned before, you could go Surface Book 3 or go MacBook Air and also look at an iPad Air to draw on or a Wacom uh, into a tablet for drawing. Both good options and the MacBook Air with the Intuos tablet is probably the cheapest. Uh, can I use the Lenovo X1 Carbon? Absolutely. We used to use Lenovo X1 Carbons at, um, at OCAD for the admin staff and they're nice computers. I'm going to drawing and painting and I'm still not sure what laptop to get. <laughs> you know what? Um, maybe Victory, what you can do is actually send us an email at ithelp at ocadu.ca and actually you can um, book time with us. Um, we have this really nice way. I did not advertise it, but um, you can, well, once you register, right, you have to register first. Uh, you can book some one on one time with us. Um, before that, just send us an email and maybe ask your question a little bit more detail and we can answer that. For industrial design, would you recommend a Mac or iPad combo or Surface Book 3? I would, I, I would see the, what I mentioned before was SolidWorks only runs on Windows. Um, so if you think that you're going to take, that you're going to want to use SolidWorks, or if you're going to take drawing for manufacturing, you'll want a Windows machine. Otherwise, uh, a Mac and iPod combo would be a good combo because industrial design is transitioning to Fusion 360. Which Dell laptop would you recommend for graphic design? Um, again, either the XPS or um, the Precision and so on. Um, wow, it's coming fast and furious. I have a HP Pavilion, seventh gen Intel Core, seventh gen Intel Core. So that's three generations old. I would say that, so it's, if it's three years old, if it's three or four years old, and I would say you're conscious of costs right now and you've got other considerations, just start your year at school, use that laptop and um, give it a go. And then if you find out you run into trouble, then um, consider upgrading. Okay, so you would not recommend MacBooks at all for environmental design. I would not, no. That, that is 100% the message that we are trying to send. If you're going into environmental design, you should be looking on the right-hand side of this slide. You should be looking at a Windows computer, even if it's not one of these two Windows computers, because you will need to run AutoCAD for Windows and Revit for Windows. Okay. Uh, graphic design will Surface Go 2 be enough? Whoa. Okay, Surface Go. Um, I would say uh, you may run into trouble with the Surface Go because it is an ARM based Windows computer. And Windows on ARM is fairly new. And I do not know what the performance is like on that machine. So, again, if, if you've already got that machine, 
I would say, <laughs> give it a go, give the surface go a go. And then if you're finding that it's not performing well with Creative Cloud, I, I would have to research that one, but I'm, I'm very wary of the Surface Go because it is an ARM-based um, uh, machine that where you're one, running Windows for ARM and any applications that you're running on Windows for ARM are getting, tr um, Creative Cloud is an x86-based Windows program that's running on top of Windows for ARM and it's getting translated as it's running. So there's a performance hit. I have a MacBook Air, which I purchased back in 2018. Is this model too outdated to use? No, use that computer, use it. Uh, would the Surface Book be a separate stylus for doing art and design? Yes. Uh, well, hold on, separate style for doing art related home. No, so there's one stylus, there's only one stylus for that machine. And um, uh, it comes like it's it's made by Microsoft for that machine. Uh, so I think I think that answers your question. Is the Pavilion 13 a good expanded? I, I'm not familiar with the HP Pavilion 13, but I'll stand by my previous comments. If you want to provide us some specs and email us at ithelp at okview.ca, that would be great. Uh, what specs would I need? So game design, I would say go Dell Alienware. Game design, Dell Alienware, because it's got the NVIDIA RTX 3070 graphics card. You're going to, you're going to be able to game like you've never gamed before. Like, look at the graphic here. Here's the alien one here. Somebody is like totally blowing some stuff up here in Halo. Um, do students need to add more HDD or SDD? Uh, okay. So student... Ooh, here's a bit of advice. Great question. So you do get one terabyte of OneDrive storage when you come to OCAD uh, that is in the cloud, but you will find that you will probably need some external storage um, just for maybe like local backup. Uh, maybe that's a hard drive, you like a spinning disk hard drive you leave at home or something like that to back up your computer in case you have a uh, colossal catastrophic failure. Um, but you could actually get by with the OneDrive storage and you also get a hundred I think it's, I was gonna say 100 megs, that doesn't sound right. Um, or is it 100 gigs? You get 100 gigs with Creative Cloud. Um, so you might find that you might need an external SSD if you're doing a lot of, like, let's say video work uh, where you want lots of fast local storage. So that's actually a really good question, but you definitely want a backup strategy because students do use their, their lose their data um, I'm not sure which programs I'm going to be using, but I'm going to digital features, HP Envy. Yes, HP Envy, that's a great computer. That's a killer machine. You you have already got it figured out. Um, so good job. Uh, is it Lila? Lila. No open questions. Okay. Um, what specs would, oh, uh, we answered the game design. Okay, so we're just over time. I want to, uh, there's still 75 people hanging out here. Uh, before we go, I just want to issue a couple of words of gratitude. Um, for uh, Sam and Danielle in the office of, um, in the admissions office and Brent Everett James, who's here from uh, the office as well to orientation folks. They're great. They're tremendously helpful. They're interested in you, your success at the institution. And I, from IT services, Andrew McAllister, wanna help you be creative with technology. I'll stick around for a little bit longer and, and just answer any outstanding questions, but please do, um, I'm, I'm on the Twitters. Uh, so I'm at, at Andrew Ben mc.ca, uh, you can send email directly to me. This is the reward for the people who stuck around to the end. You get my email address. Although I suppose you could find my email address at um, okadu.ca, but like here it is on the screen. Um, and you can also visit our website, which is okadu.ca slash laptop program, which has more information. Um, thank you folks for turning up to this. And thank you for, um, I'm just looking at Suzanne's note. Very informative. We are parents of a first year OCAD student. We're impressed with your patience and answer. Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm here to answer the questions. And I have to say, um, I wanna acknowledge that the situation with the pandemic and um, you know, being remote is really challenging. And I think it's, it's been challenging for me. It's, been, it's challenging for you folks. Uh, and uh, sometimes we need to hear the same information through multiple means in order to uh, gain the understanding that we're looking for. So it's, it's uh, great. Is there a limit to Wi-Fi data when we're on campus? Um, no, but um, <laughs> no, there isn't. Uh, however, um, I, I will say though, um, um, like if you were, uh, uh, you, you, no, you don't generally need to worry about that, but like if you were planning on, you know, firing up a web server and like hosting uh, gigs and gigs of data, 
Um, we, we do, um, you know, if somebody was using piles and piles of data and, and was preventing other people from accessing the Wi-Fi, then we, we'd probably have a chat with you. But uh, generally speaking, no, it's, you know, you download your things. Um, thank you for your time, Zaina, and thank you for your time, Jerishan. And uh, Ashkan, where can we see the meeting recorded again? Okay, so we, I don't have a location for the meeting, but if you did register for this session, my expectation is that we'll be able to pull that information and send you the details, okay? Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna check the Q&A. Uh, I do not want an Alienware laptop. What else would you recommend for game design? Um, listen, I, I would say any, um, uh, there are many, many gaming laptops out there. And they've, even though sometimes, what, what I would encourage you to do is, is look for the options from all the vendors, look for the ones that you're keen on, read the reviews. Um, some of them have the same specs, but we've noticed that some of them um, do things like, uh, and I won't name the vendor, but there are some vendors where they say, you know, our laptop has a NVIDIA RTX 3070 graphics card, but then what you discover is that they um, throttle the amount of power that's provided to the card. So the card doesn't actually run at full speed. And so uh, all that I suggest you do is read the reviews, check the forums, um, see what you like, uh, and whatever you buy, make sure it's got a really good warranty from the vendor so that if you do run into trouble, you can um, get support through the vendor for that machine and that you're clear about how you get support. Do you have to mail that machine in? Do you walk it to a location? Do you, is there somebody nearby in Toronto that supports that machine under warranty? Like all those questions. So um, yeah, certainly you don't have to buy the Alienware machine. Yeah, I get it. Um, the other one that I would say is if, if cost is a concern, um, we looked at the Dell G15, their budget um, gaming laptop, and they're, they're pretty great. Um, uh, we tried to get those models on the on the Dell store, and it's they're not there. But it, that's a good machine as well too. Um, I'm going to industrial design and like an Asus ZenBook 15. But yeah, yes, absolutely. Asus ZenBooks they're very nice machines. Um, we don't necessarily recommend them for the program par partially because um, uh, we always like to have a very um, uh, we we've we've liked the support path we've had with Dell. Um, the Asus machines are really very nice. Um, my main program is not industrial design, but it is a MacBook Pro okay with industrial design program. My main program is not industrial design. So you're planning on taking courses in industrial design. Is that, I think that's what I'm gathering. So by and large, you should be all right. Um, if you're just taking a couple of courses, unless that course happens to be drawing for manufacturing, in which case you'll have a lot of trouble because you'll have to run SolidWorks. Um, if they run that course again, probably what we might do is actually have that course run on campus in one of our labs that have Dell Alienware R12 desktops. So there will be Windows machines available to you um, to use. Uh, but by and large, if you're taking industrial design classes, you will be able to run Autodesk Fusion 360 um, on the Apple uh, MacBook Pro, and that should be fine in most cases. But if you're going into that program, um, that's why we're sort of trying to nudge people uh, to Windows options just because of SolidWorks and um, the support for Fusion 360 on, on Apple's newest. Oh, actually, I guess my qualifying question is, are you talking about a brand new Apple MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon or an old MacBook Pro with an Intel processor? Maybe you can, you can ask, you can add on to that question. Um, do we need an Apple MacBook? environmental design program <laughs> um, um, is, is, is the um, so is the question that do we need to add the Apple MacBook Pro to environmental design or should you buy an Apple MacBook Pro if you're going into environmental design if you're going into environmental design do not buy an Apple MacBook Pro that's not what we recommend uh, we're recommending Windows computers in that program and um, and uh, if you have a Lenovo ThinkPad that's great it's going to work great okay well it's about 8.09. We're gonna have the popcorn rule if there aren't any more questions. Still got 55 people hanging out. Um, I'm just gonna say, you know, you folks are the best. And it's great to work at an institution working with creative people. I wish you all the best for your studies at OCAD University and your future creative careers. 
And uh, we look forward to supporting you being creative with that technology. Um, please reach out to me. Please reach out to the IT team. Please reach out to the admissions people. Shout out for Danielle and Sam on the call, who are the people who are helping you come um, to Oakhead University and have a really great experience. And uh, um, and uh, there's uh, Sam has popped the the link in there for the online learning course that you can join. And um, I want to thank all you folks for turning up. And Juanita gets the last question: How much are the student discounts? They really vary by the computer. So really what you need to do is scroll back in that uh, in the chat and find those three links that I uh, posted earlier and browse through the sites and you kind of have to go back and forth and sort of see um, how much you save. It's it's not it's not bags and bags of money, but it's significant when you're a student, every dollar counts. With that, I'd like to close out and say um, thanks very much to Sam, Brent, and uh, Danielle for hosting this. And uh, yeah, I'll have a, have a wonderful evening.